Hi everybody. Welcome back or welcome. Welcome to my home and my art room. I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing pretty well myself. If this is your first time to my channel, let me tell you how I run things. I use a number generating app to pick out my colors. I have 343 colors to date and they're all numbered. I will then enter the parameters of one through 343 in my number generator. It'll give me a number. Well, I'm gonna do this four times. I have to use the four colors that are generated. I can add any colors that I want to. I can add the embellishments that I wish to, but I just have to use the four colors that were generated. This is kind of giving us some ideas about new co color combos, things that are gonna work really well together, different micas, different alcohol inks, how something reacts with one another. This is me trying it out, even if you've wanted to try it and haven't done it. This is me doing it for you, so you can see how things go together well. That's my goal anyway, that's what I'm trying to do. So I am gonna go ahead without further delay and pull our numbers, or generate our numbers. All right, so I'm gonna put the parameter in. One, three, three, oh, three, 43. I had a medical procedure done the day before yesterday and I'm just kind of sluggish. Okay, generate, 296. All right, generate 35, 182, 242. Okay, 296, 35, 182, and 242. Don't know what we have, but we will find out soon. I'm gonna put you on hold, pull the colors, figure out what I'm gonna add and what project we're gonna do. I'll be right back. Okay, for some of you who have not seen my color wheel, here it is. All my colors sorted and numbered. These are all my alcohol inks and there you see, well, let me pull it around here. My Bombay inks are in there. Then down here are my Pearl X's. And over here are my Micah's. First box, number. And the second box. I'm missing a color. Either that or I missed, <laughs> I missed numbered. I don't know, but the other day I pulled it. It was generated and I didn't have it. So, yeah. But these are my colors. Just wanted to show you. I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I have pulled the colors that were generated, which was 296. That is Bombay Ink Magenta. Then I drew 35. That is Eye Candy Rainbow Blue. Then 182 is Grape by Pixis. And then last is 242. And this has a Chinese name or some type of Randall. I guess, H-X-D-Z-F-X. -X. And that is the color lemon yellow. So what I've decided to do, as you can see, I have the beautiful whale uh, mold. I am going to do a flower bloom. Yep, I'm gonna do a flower bloom in this whale. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the magenta for the middle. And I'm gonna add some uh, rainbow rocks. I forgot to grab these rainbow rocks in the middle with that. Then I'll use these two alcohol inks. I'm gonna add these alcohol inks, the Berry by Pixis, Sigwong's Green, Pinata's Chili Pepper Red, and Pixis Carrot Orange. So I'll use those as the rainbow colors. Then what I'm gonna do is after I put, get all this down and do the bloom for my backing, we're going to do the eye candy rainbow blue. As you notice, I'm not putting any blue in the rainbow itself or in the bloom itself. I'm going to put the backing on as blue. And then I'm using the Just Resin Titanium White pigment paste to make my white. Now I've poured this out about 25 minutes ago, so it's been sitting and it's ready to do its thing. 
I didn't think we want to be on hold together 25 minutes just sitting here watching resin get ready. <laughs> like paint dry, resin get ready, I guess. All right, so what you do is you mix this up, mix your pigment paste up. Okay, and you want to scrape your sides, mix it, scrape your sides again. Very, need very little. See what's left on your sides? That's all that it takes to get this stuff where it needs to be. And you just mix it in. You get it all mixed up. Just mix it real good so you don't see any more white lines in there. You want it that's where you can see through the stick, but you can't see through the stick because of the stuff on the side. And that's looking good. Now I've done a bloom several times before, but the last one I did came out the best because I haven't gotten it down pat yet. But there's only one way, one way to get it down pat, and that's to keep trying. So that's what I'm doing, and you are here to be my witnesses. Okay, that's all mixed in there nice, and no white streaks. And what I'm going to do is put this in a piping bag. I, I haven't tried it again in the piping bag. I did it before, and it didn't come out very good in the piping bag, so... I'm going to try it again. All right, put my lid on over here. No matter how hard I try, I cannot keep this pigment paste jar clean. Look at that. Cannot keep it clean. Don't know why. I can't stand it. Okay, there we go. Now I gotta do the little magenta in the middle. If I can get it open, there we go. I'm opening it away from my resin because it's been a while and it's got crud all around it. And you don't want that crud falling in your resin. So open it away from your project. Okay. One. Katie, go lay down! Now! Hey everybody, uh, it's been about four or five hours. I decided to come out and take a look, see what our whale was doing. And he has bloomed. I see blooms, baby. I see blooms, blooms, blooms. All right, I got blooms according to this side. Now the other side could be a big blob, but I see blooms and I am excited and happy. So now I'm going to put our rainbow blue eye candy mica on. I've already mixed it up, saved some time to go ahead and get that down. I've mixed up six ounces of, I forgot to tell you on my resin. My resin of choice is Clear Cast 7000 by the Epoxy Resin Store. Wonderful, wonderful budget friendly resin. I say that for the only purpose of passing on information. I don't owe them anything, they don't owe me anything. So here we go. I think this blue is beautiful. It'll look great on the back of our rainbow our rainbow bloom. I wanted to go ahead and get out here and do this so we'd have something to unveil in the morning. Well, for you, it would be a half a second. But for me, it would be a good 10 hours. Make sure I don't hit the bottom layer doing this. I 
and pick, pick, uh, can't speak. I mixed up a good amount. Get all the way up there in his tail. Okay. I put a little torch on that. Not that you can get many bubbles with this resin at all. I mean, all resins have bubbles, but this has very few, and the ones you do, you can get out with some fire. So, that's it. That's our blue whale. On the other side, he's going to have a beautiful bloom, I do believe. So, I will be back in the morning. You hang on a half a second. You blink your eyes, and I'll be back with the whale. Good morning. Good half a second. How are you? Still doing good? I'm doing well. Had a good night's sleep. Very excited to get out here and check out our project. Uh, review for me. Uh, we drew or generated 296 Bombay's Magenta Pixis Grape uh, HXDZV FX. 242 is lemon yellow and then black or eye candy rainbow blue. I chose pinata chili pepper, carrot by Pixis, and berry by Pixis. So here we go. We put the back layer backing on it. Let's see what we got. I'm excited. I like ocean themed molds, or whatever you want to call it. Isn't it weird how I did that? Okay, so I did a bloom. Not only do we want this to turn out, we want it to be a bloom. So here we go. Bam! <gasps> wow! <gasps> wow, y'all! Look at that! There's one or two blobbies, but that's it. That's wonderful. Here, let me move the ring light. <gasps> Look at it. Did I do a good job or what? And how cute is it in the whale? Wow, I'm so super excited. All right. I am super excited. And it really looks 3D. I mean, I haven't had one that turned out this well. They didn't look 3D. They had some blooms that wanted to be, and I was excited about those, but this one, I am stoked. And look, see where I put the magenta in for uh, the Bombay ink? And it didn't move. Didn't that work out good? And made a nice center with the um, beads right in the middle, or whatever you want to call it, glass, rocks. I am just, woo! I am excited and just think that's awesome. Yes, I do. Well, what do you guys think? You think it turned out pretty good? Let me know in the comments. That'd be great. Um, And I haven't mentioned this this time. I don't know if I mentioned it last time. But just a reminder, I'm doing a giveaway. Giveaway for... um. Just Resin Pigment Paste, the Ocean Basic Package, comes with Titanium White, Dark Turquoise, Reef, Lagoon, Bermuda Bay, and Beige. I'm giving this because I purchased two rather than sending it back. I thought doing a giveaway to subscribers would be a good way to introduce myself as well as keep myself from having to spend money on shipping. I'd rather have that money go towards something else, which would be to help out a subscriber. It helps me out and it helps you out. So all you have to do is like, subscribe, and comment something to me. Hello, beautiful, uh, not hello and beautiful, or hello, beautiful, I mean hello 
and beautiful, like talking about my project. And you just have to do that, and I'll send you a number back. If you don't get a number from me in a couple of days, you need to send me another message. And I'm taking notes and taking names so I know when I, who got what number. And also, I'm trying to get a 1,000 subscribers. That's when I'm going to do the, the giveaway. And actually, I'm going to do a generating number generating number. So we will have the computer pick the winner. And uh, I think that's it. But just go ahead and get uh, registered or subscribed. Like, subscribe, comment. And if you want to, go ahead and share it. That's the giveaway. Okay, that's all with that. I already talked about that in the episode a while back. I think three episodes ago. But I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. Woo! I love it. Okay, that's out for me. I will catch you the next time. So excited. Sam is leaving you very happy. Bye.